It seems that the start of 2024 has seen a possible turning of the relentless tide of electrification and EVs. The demand for them has slumped almost everywhere thanks to a saturated market, cheap Chinese models now flooding in, and continuing cost of living pressures for ordinary families. In an avalanche of media coverage of this decline in the last few days, we'll take a look at a must-read article from the UK Daily Telegraph which foresees a huge EV backtracking, and then take a look at GM, which has, at almost the last minute, pulled back from the brink of the all-electric abyss. How many others will do the same or face the alternative, a long plunge over the edge to bankruptcy and irrelevance? This is just a snapshot, but all of these articles are laying out the same essential message. The EV boom is over. Welcome back to M Guy, British engineer and lawyer turned Sydney YouTuber. Please be sure to like, share and subscribe, hit the notification bell and drop a comment down below. There is certainly some groundswell in the view that the EV bubble may be about to burst, with demand tanking around the world and investors getting nervous. Things may still change when the global economy picks up. But for now, with a combination of consumer ambivalence, oversupply and financial uncertainty, many are seeing this as the beginning of the end of the EV madness. We can only hope, eh? Here's the UK Telegraph. The West's humiliating electric car climb down has begun. Ambitious plans for an electrification-led industrial revolution are in full-scale retreat. It was not so long ago that countries were competing furiously to launch battery-powered visions of the future, with Tesla riding the wave of green demand to become the world's largest car manufacturer, measured by market value if not volume, and with ambitious net zero targets to meet, they all wanted to make sure they could compete in electric vehicles. We would reduce carbon emissions, create many jobs and shore up our industrial base. Sure, governments would have to commit a few billions, or tens of billions, to make it happen, but it will pay for itself many times over. And yet, right now, plans for an EV-led industrial revolution are in full-scale retreat. There is a lesson in the humiliating climb-down. State-led industrial strategies never work. Indeed, the failure of the drive into EV is a textbook example of everything that goes wrong. First, it backs the wrong industries. No one really has any idea what products people might want in five or ten years' time, which is why it is best to leave it to private companies and their investors to make their own bets reap the rewards when they get it right, and bear the losses when they don't. Next, the state overinvests. Even if there is a small market for EVs, there certainly wasn't space for huge new industries in France, Germany, the US, or in a dozen smaller countries. The car industry was awash with overcapacity already, and that was before the government started throwing billions at the electric vehicle plants. All that happens is that prices collapse and no one makes any money. Finally, it distorts the market with subsidies. Governments start out spending a few billion on new EV factories, then they have to start subsidising the EVs so that people actually buy them, and then they have to impose tariffs and quotas to stop imports from countries where other governments have invested too much. As the article says, it's a vicious cycle and once it starts it's very hard to stop. And the auto manufacturers are starting to see the writing on the wall. Volvo has dumped its worthless EV offshoot Polestar, withdrawing financial support and looking to shift its 48% stake in the brand. And in a similarly seismic shift of strategy, GM, who were 100% committed to electrification not that long ago, are bringing in hybrids, which is code for keeping internal combustion engine research and manufacture alive and well, you know, just in case. GM not going all in with electric vehicles after all, plans plug-in hybrids. In light of slowing EV demand, General Motors is introducing plug-in hybrids after previously saying it would skip this half-step. In a change of strategy, American automotive giant General Motors will roll out plug-in hybrids PHEVs, in an attempt to meet both federal regulations and consumer demand. GM CEO Mary Barra announced the plans during a conference call with investors and analysts on Tuesday. Previously, GM announced it would move all of its product lineup from internal combustion engines to battery electric power by 2035, skipping hybrids and PHEVs in the process. Ms. Barra didn't detail how the American product lineup would change, only that select models will be rolled out with a PHEV option in the coming year. Obviously, this allows for further backtracking down the line if required. It's a smart move and should make those other automakers who have bet the farm on electrification think very long and hard about whether to continue down that path. 
take a look at my video linked up here to see all the foolish brands that have risked their future on the all or nothing electric approach. No matter how much the prices drop or the technology improves, there is still the fundamental problem of the essentially disposable battery costing more than half the value of the car, plus the physical limit to charging speeds and the consequent time required at a charging station. Nobody wants to spend more than a few minutes filling up, let alone a few hours. And so for those of us without off-street parking for overnight charging, EVs remain unaffordable, inconvenient and completely impractical. And the current EV market is merely reflecting that painful fact.